Welcome back to the channel guys. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Fun is still here. Uh, we are letting the Jeep dry. So you guys saw in the Jeep video where we got this thing PPF'd that we actually had to let it dry for like a whole day. We didn't want to take it outside right away because there's still moisture underneath the film a little bit and we don't want any issues or anything peeling up or whatever, right? Yes. We don't want problems. Okay. So we're letting it dry for like a whole day in here and while we're in here, Fun actually had a surprise to jam in front of today's video. Yes. I brought some window tint. This dude hooked us up with the tint. I was actually gonna ask him for window tint when I knew he was coming, cause like that, he works at the tint studio. That's his shop that he owns. By the time I was thinking about doing tint, he had already shipped the whole box full of the PPF. So I was like, ah, it's too late. I didn't want to have to put tint in his suitcase, which he did anyways. I just let it go but he brought it anyways because he's the man. So this morning, to start off today's video, we're gonna be slapping some tint and a windshield thing. I'm gonna let you explain that because I don't really. It's like a protective film. Uh, it's called Actual Shield or Clearplex. Okay. And it's two different brands, but the one we're using specifically is Actual Shield. Okay. So that'll minimize sandblasting and a lot of uh, rock chips. Which... Is it like a phone screen protector? Yes, yes. That's like the best way to yes. reference it, right? Because this is like you wouldn't be able to see through like a PPF. Yeah, it's more optically clear. Nice. Yeah. So in Ontario and Canada and whatever, anywhere that it snows, you guys either get salt on the roads or sand on the roads or these unlucky <laughs> don't know, but <laughs> get rocks yes. on the roads. So it's a real big tendency that your windshield will get all these little speckles in it, get like sandblasted. And Jeeps and G-Wagons and that kind of thing are really prone to window cracking because they're flat, they have no deflection that just smacks the windshield and breaks it. But before we get too into it, I want to take a second and thank the sponsor of today's video, the Ridge Wallet. So if you guys have not heard me talk about the Ridge Wallet at this point, you've been living under a rock or you just found the channel, in which case, thank you guys for subscribing. The Ridge makes, I think, legally the best wallet that you can buy. I've been using the Ridge wallets for years at this point. If you look at this thing, it is super abused and used. The Ridge says you can fit 12 cards in these guys all day long. I see people tag me in things. They got these things loaded to the max. They got a little money clip on the back or a money strap if you guys want to throw some cash in there. And an extra bonus now that COVID is kind of going away and people are allowed to travel again, these are RFID. Did I say that right? RFID protected. So you can have these things. You can have anything in here. You can have your driver's license, your Nexus card, whatever it is, and you don't have to worry about something getting stolen or scanned or someone robbing your information through your wallet because they have the RFID protection. These wallets come in over 30 different colors and styles, including the carbon fiber and the burnt titanium. And if you guys don't believe me telling you these are the best wallets there is, they have over 40,000 five-star reviews. So just go read them and then buy one. Use the link in the description or go to theridge.com slash Robbie and you guys can save 10% off everything on their website. They sell a lot more than just wallets. Go check them out. You guys will not be disappointed. And thank you to The Ridge for sponsoring today's video. First up, windshield? Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and prep it all up and clean it up so that it's nice and clear. And then we're gonna install the film. Nice. But we're gonna get Robbie to help us uh, with this one. Cause... Dude, you gotta stop this. You guys, you can make me butcher the whole thing. Peel, peel and then soak? Yeah. Dude, that is yep, yep. so clear. Sorry, go ahead and soak the whole thing. Perfect. So what's life expectancy on this stuff? Uh, they say for actual seals, two years, 24,000 kilometers. Okay, that's still pretty good. But it depends on where you drive. And yeah, because, how often you drive and everything. Yeah, because sometimes it diminishes sooner. Okay. So just based on your vision, just get a replacement. Yeah, yeah, so this is 12 years, the Lumar Valor. Yeah. This is two years. We're gonna add this one to the list of important mods that no one's gonna know I have. <laughs> At least you know you can have the nice and cleanest Jeep around, eh? Yeah, hell yeah. I know I can beat on mine the most and then it can still be the cleanest. Yeah. So while we wait for the extra shield to actually uh, set a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and throw the window tint on. Nice. And that will give it enough time to set. And before we get too into it, what percent would you call Roughly 15% to 20%. 15%? Yeah. Okay, so the rears come tinted and the fronts come absolutely naked, but I have a soft top also, and we plan on making this hard top like an adventure top, yep. putting all kinds of crazy stuff on there and then running the soft top when I'm not running it. So 
I would love to just black out the whole thing, but you can't tint soft windows, right? That's right. So if we were to go ahead and just black out all these windows when we ran the soft top, it would look super funky because it would be like see-through. But this is, this is what we're looking at right now. I'd say that's pretty close, dude. That's almost like bang on with the rears. I know a lot of you guys are probably saying pre-cut kits are no good, but man. Oh, it just saves you so much time. Like you just slap it on and you're done. Yeah. I don't care what they say, I think it's good. That one's a little bit lighter. Yeah, just a pad, right? Just a little bit. From the inside, it's a little bit lighter, but honestly, from the outside, if we leave both these doors open so there's no double tint on the back and only one on the front. Oh, yeah, they're super close. Yeah. Really close. Thank you for all the little big, extras. What a big difference, eh? God, you're so beautiful. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I am super stoked. It's just like little extra simple things for the Jeep. Like even the tint's not like super dark, but it just blends in, it makes everything look really good. While Fun is assembling the rest of that door, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the goodies for today's video. The Rubicons and the Saharas and stuff come with beautiful LED taillights. Then you get the halogens and they just look so bad. So you guys know my Jeep taillights, they're boring. There's not a whole lot going on there. And something that I actually do on almost every single car I get is replace the taillights or the headlights or whatever. I think lighting is another to go with like the tint. It's just simple. Subtle things that make it really pop and make it really stand out. So today we got what I'm gonna call the uh, the only aftermarket tail light for the JL Wrangler that I actually like. Dude, look at these things. Oh my God. Dude, these are so hot. So my main thing for the Jeep is that there's a lot of weird stuff going on. You can get a lot of Jeeps, parts and stuff that does look kind of funky. These are like really similar to OEM. I can't even show you the best part till they're on. Yet they have like their own flair that like when you see them, you'll know they're not. So these are the V-Land taillights for the JL Wrangler. V-Land is actually like a really well-known to me and actually to you too probably. You've heard of V-Land, right? Yeah, so V-Land is, uh, fun's over here filming me. Uh, V-Land is really well-known in like the JDM scene. Correct. They make like a really, really popular BRZ headlight. Like everybody runs V-Land BRZ headlights. But I couldn't find a single photo of someone running these taillights on their Jeep. These things are super hot and like I said, I can't even show you guys the best part till they're on. So let's get this thing spun around here. That is much better. Nobody likes looking at the back of a Jeep without a wheel on it. So this is the stock Jeep taillights if you guys don't know what I'm referring to. They're kind of just boring. Um, there's, they're actually nice. Like they're, they don't, they're not ugly by any means. They're just boring. This is basically just like a nice big reflector around the outside. And then uh, obviously just a halogen bulb, nothing crazy. They look like, uh, you know, a regular brake light. And I almost bought the OEM LED ones a bunch of times, but I just wanted something that popped a little extra. And I think these dude are gonna do an amazing job of just giving us the little extra pop. So, something I also learned yesterday is that these Jeep taillights, just in general, are dumb easy to install. Do they have one screw? <laughs> that's, that's it. One screw holds this entire thing in place. That's it. That's, that's literally it, dude. This is a lot similar to like the OEM style, how it's got the little black inserts over here on like the LEDs. This one's just a big freaking cube. And this also has a little flare. So the LEDs from like the Rubicons and stuff have blind spot monitoring in there. I don't think these ones have blind spot monitoring in them, but it has a little flare, which kind of gives it a little bit more of a beefy vibe. Dude, these look so good. They're actually a little beefier than the stock ones too. Like you can see this one sticks out right here. It's a little bit more than this one sticks out. And on a side shot, this one's got like a little bit of a curvature, I guess, cause it doesn't have the blind spot monitoring. So from here, 
This one has like a weird little flare out at the tip. This boy has like the duals and it like puffs out at the back, dude. It's a beefy unit, I kind of like it. What's really cool is these are like basically like, I would call it like red out or whatever. I don't know what you would call it, right? They're not like tinted at all and they're gonna go so good with my, my beadlock wheels these, that are coming. These are sick. The people don't even have any idea. No. I didn't even tell you either. No. I got a uh, 17 inch oh, wheels sick. with the black beadlock. Oh, sick. So these are gonna go like perfect yes. with it. Yes, especially on the color of your car too. Right, yes. like, all of this is gonna flow so nicely because these are temporary for everybody that's new. I'm just running these until my big tires show up. Anyways, you wanna give them a quick, yeah. quick little brake pump? Oh, <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, they prism, bruh. That's gotta be some of the coolest shit ever. What's really cool is how like when it's off, it's just simple. Okay, so when they're on, they look like that and then hit, hit the brakes, do they just get brighter? Yeah, they do. You know what would be sick is if we could find a way to wire these where the, uh, the little prism right here is like the brake light and this is the running light. Cause right now when you hit them, they both get brighter. It might be cool if this one was always on and then this one just lit up as the brake. Yeah, oh yeah. Right? Yes. And then uh, we can give this a try. Ooh, those are nice. Yeah? Like nice and bright? Nice. Yeah. Damn. Can you hit the turn signals? Maybe yeah. put it back in neutral and hit the turn signal. I want to see what happens. Right. Yep. Okay, so right now they do that thing, but they're supposed to be sequential, so I don't know how we make that happen. They're supposed to be like a sequential. Right now the whole thing flashes. Yeah. There's supposed to be some way to make this a sequential light. So we'll have to, yeah, we'll, figure that out. we'll have to figure that out when we put the other one in. I don't see anything. Oh, aha! Holy shit, dude, it's deep in there. This would be useful if it was mounted like right there in the plastic, but apparently that's my sequential switch. So now the top reverse light that you guys just saw should be an amber like sequential. Beautiful. Oh. Hmm. Do the other one? Hmm. Maybe this one was already on sequential yeah. and I put it back, like. It literally doesn't change anything. Nothing. That's so weird. Secret to making your windshield banner pop is snow, dude. Look at this. Dude. The Jeep has needed a banner since like the day we picked it up. As soon as we put this windshield protector film on, I was like, we gotta slap a banner on there. I've been neglecting it. It just looks so good. I'm excited for you guys to see this thing too, like in a couple months once we keep going with it, how well it's gonna pop. But dude, it just looks so good. A huge shout out to Fun for showing up with the goodies, the windshield protection film, and the tent. The tent looks actually fire too. Outside with some sun on it. You can't even tell that like the front's lighter than the back. And the tail lights, dude. I am in love. How many times have I told you while I was making my edit that I love these tail lights? Yeah, a lot. I just really like them because they're like OEM plus. Like if you were to cover this, the OEM ones kind of have this shape. But these have just like the extra little super cool. The reverse lights are hella bright. And when I figure out how to get the sequential working, that'll just be an extra bonus. One thing I will show you guys though, the reason I, I was like not knowing about putting a banner on the Jeep is because I've showed you banners on like all my other cars. If you put them right down at the wipers, you honestly don't really see them. But the Jeep, <laughs> the whole windshield is right here. There is no hidden spot. So the banner is super noticeable. That's why Brad put his on the back window. He didn't want to have to look at it every day. I'm okay with it. It's not terribly up in your face, but it is right there. So today's about mods that, you know, they're sleek, subtle, but they're absolutely killer. So thank you for the Anytime. tent, for thank the windshield you, protection. Brad, yeah. And uh, check out VLAND, link in the description for like the tail lights and any kind of light. They make all kinds of stuff. I'm sure they got something that fits your vehicle. And then tomorrow we can grab a barbecue brush and scrape the crap out of it and show you guys how the paint protection film really works. Which at this point, you guys have already seen. If you haven't, I'll leave a link in the description to that video also. So that's all I got for you guys. I will catch you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. And another thanks to Lumar for making quality films and protection products. The sun for blinding me. 
and Fun for showing up and just absolutely destroying this for us. We love you. Peace out and stay committed. Bro, I can't see anything. Whoa.